welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Dollar Tree haul. There are so many great finds there. If you haven't gone there to look for stocking stuffers, Christmas decoration, decorations, Christmas wrapping, make sure you guys go to the Dollar Tree. You will find great finds at such a low price. Yeah, usually I load up that belt what is that called? The belt, you know, when they're checking you out. And I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, if I was at a store like Walmart or Target, I would literally be spending hundreds of dollars. And then I walk out of there and it's like 60 and I almost have a heart attack. <laughs> Let me know if you guys feel the same way when you guys are in there and you're checking out. I mean, it's kind of like a give or take. So I usually think like, wow, this would be like $200 in a regular store. And then I sit back and I think, oh my gosh, I just spent $60 at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I mean, it goes both ways, but let's go ahead and jump into this because I'm really excited to share these finds. Now, keep in mind that for this whole month, I'm gonna be sharing all Christmas things, anything related to Christmas, stockings, gift ideas, wrapping, decorations, stuff like that. For the most part, I've already shared most of my decorations with you guys already. You can see them here in the backdrop of the frame. I did wanna mention, oh, my little gingerbread guys, their heads are getting cut off. Let me see if I could aim it up so you guys can see it. But do you guys see, do you guys see those little gingerbread guys? Those I actually purchased from the Dollar Tree probably 20 years ago. Like I've had them forever, but I just think it's kind of fun to, to share that with you guys because literally 20 years later, I'm still shopping at the Dollar Tree. Anyways, I'm gonna aim this down. I think that's too high um, because then it, it cuts off most of my body. So with that being said, let me center you guys a little bit. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Don't leave you guys, don't leave. Let's jump into this. Okay, so starting off, I'm just gonna share the wrapping paper that I picked up because it's right here on the desk already. But I went ahead and I picked up this really cute tree wrapping paper. This is a foil wrapping paper. If you guys watched my last video, I explained to you guys how much I love the foil wrapping. And if you do all foil wrapping, it looks so pretty underneath the tree. Um, but this only has square, 20 square feet of wrapping, which is not very much, you guys, but the quality is pretty nice. I like how it wraps. It looks really, really good. Um, but as you can see here, it has these cute little Christmas trees on it, all different colors, the little ornaments. It has some presents on it. If you missed my last video, make sure you guys check it out. But I talked to you guys about how I use tool to wrap my gifts as like a bow instead or ribbon and a bow instead of using like the sticker bows or real ribbon, um, but it's, it looks really pretty. So this is the first wrapping. And then this here is the second wrapping. It is a snowflake wrapping. It's silver and white. I thought it was really pretty, all the different snowflakes on here. Again, this one is also 20 square feet. And this last one is 20 square feet as well. And it's this really pretty blue with reindeer on it. They do have stars in the background. I thought it was really pretty. So there is that. So those are my wrapping papers that I picked up. I do tend to fly through this because again, they are small, but you guys, I'm telling you, if you're about presentation, it looks so pretty under the tree. So the next thing I picked up, uh oh, this is stuck. Okay, so the next thing I picked up, if you guys are new to my channel, I have a puppy. He's five months now. Um, actually, he's about to be six months and I needed a stocking for him. So I went ahead and picked up this little red stocking with the white trim here. It has his initial here for Salem. We named him Salem because it, it's, it takes after the word Shalom, which means peaceful. And so this is his new stocking. So I'm excited to fill that up for him. And you guys know I'm gonna be filling it with Dollar Tree items because they have so many good toys there. Um, okay, the next thing I picked up are these really cute scrunchies. If you guys know me and my channel, you know I love Dollar Tree scrunchies. I thought these were so pretty. Look at the colors that they chose here. These are more of a velvet, and they're just really, really pretty. Do you guys remember like the early 2000s velour outfits, like jo uh, jogger sweat outfits? They were velour, they were really in style. This reminds me of that, but I love this. I thought that the colors were so pretty. 
You guys, this is gonna be in no order whatsoever because I'm literally grabbing from my bag. So the next thing I went ahead and picked up are these treat bags. They come with 15, they have all different kinds. I thought that this one was so cute because it is the gingerbread. The little gingerbread man and the little gingerbread house. Isn't that so cute? And then it has like little snowflakes falling. Super cute. You could put little uh, sweet treats in here. You could do um, crafting with it. I can't think you guys, my mind's going crazy. Okay, so I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't reach down, so I pulled everything out and on the table so it'll be easier. But the next thing I picked up was this Jet Puffed Marshmallow Cream. It was only $1.25. I think that's a great deal. I actually picked this up for myself, my daughter and my son. We're gonna make some chocolate fudge and I wanted to kind of swirl this inside the chocolate fudge. I thought that that would be really good. So we picked that up. It is a seven ounce container. Something I picked up that's not really important but it's in the bag so I thought I'd share it. It is by Shore Sense. It eliminates odor and it is the Angel Blossom Air Freshener. So if you have company coming over, it's nice to just keep these in the bathroom just in case. So nobody feels uncomfortable if you know what I mean <laughs> okay you guys I was so excited to find these now I don't know if these are new I don't remember seeing them last year but you know how Dollar Tree is they have so much stuff in their store at all times um, this is by crafter square it is the nativity puppet or finger puppet kit for your kids to put together it comes with an angel uh one of the or two of the wise men and mary joseph and the baby and so i thought that that was so so cool so i'm probably gonna have the kids do this or at least my son i don't know if the the older girls are gonna do it but my son's only in kindergarten so i thought that this would be really nice to do and then i think i may keep um, some to do for crafting like in a journal or something like that but I did pick up four I may have the kids do it I'm not quite sure yet so we'll have to see how that goes but I picked those up I was really excited to find those now keep in mind everything I'm sharing with you guys can be stocking stuffers for family friends however you guys do that gift bags gift baskets things like that um, but I did pick up this <laughs> Next Generation Star Trek Crew Sock. I thought that this was so cool. <laughs> I'm not a Star Trek fan, but I just thought that these were really cool to share with you guys. But I know that they have more, but I have only been able to find him. And I don't know his name. Does it say on here? It doesn't say on here, but these are for men's 10 to 13. Oh my gosh, these are really big. Hmm, I thought that they'd fit women, but I don't know about that. Okay, so another hair tie set that I picked up, I should have shared this with you guys with the other set. It is basically the same. It comes with three. It's kind of of that velvety texture, but I thought that the blush pink with the black looked so pretty. So I went ahead and picked this up. This looks like it's just like a Greenbrier brand. Yeah, it's the Greenbrier brand. But I thought that these were a really pretty color and um, set to go along for like this time of year. Um, but yeah, three for a dollar twenty-five. You guys cannot beat that. The next thing I picked up, I found in Crafter Square. It is this glue gun pad, you guys. This is so cool because for me, we're always crafting, and I always use like a paper plate or something like that underneath of the glue gun. But this, I was so excited to find this. So this is 100% silicone, so it's super easy to clean. I wanna see what the size is. So it's seven and a half by 10.4. So just under 10 and a half inches. But look at that, $1.25. You guys, remember stocking stuffers. Now, when you're looking through the Dollar Tree, you can always keep in mind that, you know, you don't want to just give this as a gift. Now you can, but for me, I like to group things together. So if you find all different types of crafting items and you want to give it to say your kid or your niece or your granddaughter or something like that, you can always wrap them individually and kind of bundle them together in a nice ribbon and it will be a really, really great gift. So that is just an idea. Something else I picked up, I just wanted to have this on hand. I like to pick up these for travel or emergencies, things like that. It's just the Crest Pro Health. It has one and a half percent more. And yeah, so I went ahead and picked this up. It says sensitive and enamel shield. So we have this container of, or box of Crest. 
so I want to say about a month ago, maybe it was longer. I can't keep track of you guys anymore. So on the channel, I remember talking about finding stuff down the educational aisle and I was really hoping that teaching tree, um, was going to start coming out with new items because I'm a homeschool teacher and doing preschool and kindergarten, they have so many great finds there. And when you're looking for stuff like that, it can get really pricey. Even if you're not a homeschooling mom and you're just trying to find things to kind of help your kiddos out with, you know, different subjects or topics or whatever, or if you are trying to prepare your kiddo to get ready to go off to kindergarten and you want to pick up some stuff to teach for preschool, it is so cheap there that like I would totally suggest finding your stuff there, especially you could do like sensory bins and you can do hands on activities and crafts. There's so many options there. So my whole point is they haven't really came out with very many new items. So when I was walking down the aisle, I saw a new item and I was so happy. These are called the kindness bingo games. So these are basically, I want to say, more aimed for a schoolroom with multiple kids. I picked up two different sets. We have this set here and we have this set here. I want to say there was one more, but they were all kindness bingo games. They come with 20 pieces. So it includes 16, let's see, 16 bingo cards. Um, what does it say here? A call out sheet and three marker sheets. So basically on the cards, some of the things are teach one or more classmates something new. So it is aimed towards a classroom, but if you have multiple kids in your family, this will work great as well. Let someone have a turn before you, practice being a good listener, push in someone else's chair. So it just says all different types of ways of showing kindness. And I thought this was great because as you're reading them off as a bingo um, game, it kind of instills these ideas of how you can actually be kind to others and it's sometimes things that kids just don't think of that they can actually do that would make someone's day you never know how someone else is feeling so like it says pushing in someone else's chair if someone notices you doing that that can really mean something to that person especially if they're going through something or having a bad day you know just to see someone being kind is always so great it feels so great to to you know have someone open the door for you or just to say hi or you know Know, something like that so I thought that these were really cool I'm super excited to um, use these in our classroom so I have two kids and then I homeschool with my sister and her two kids we have four kids in the room so we can do this with all of them um, but these are the pop out little dots you know to cover the bingos that we call out and then here are the bingo cards here so you have multiple, I think it said 15. They do have different colors here. Um, pink, yellow, um, what else is here? Green, and then there are some purple. I think I skipped them right here. And then you have your bingo call out card here. That's just one of them. But that's what comes in this little set here. So I'm super excited, I'm super excited to use these in our homeschool room. So it's always nice to have some fun learning hands-on stuff. So I also went ahead and picked up this Turbo Wheels case. It's supposed to hold six different cars in here for displays or just to have a carrying case. It is a little on the small side, I want to say, but you could put little figurines like it shows here, figurines, or you can put the cars in here. You can literally put whatever you want in here. I did get it for another purpose to put little things in here. You know, kids can put little things in here. You can put crafting stuff in here. It's great for any of that type of stuff. If you do your nails if you do a specific beadwork something like that these are great oh I do want to say though speaking of beadwork there are two little holes at the bottom so just be aware of that if you are putting beads in there don't put them in that one <laughs> or those two okay so something that I picked up for my dog is this dog bowl um, these are great if your dog eats really fast and chokes on the food or just literally inhales their food within seconds Mine does that sometimes and I'm just always so worried that he's going to throw up. So I, yeah, sorry. But um, so I went ahead and, whoa, I went ahead and picked up this dog bowl for him. So he has that. 
Something else I picked up that I thought was really cool. I've seen them for a few weeks now, but they're these framed tin boards. These are by Crafter Square. It's a wood frame with a tin board, it says. How big are these? It says that they are, it doesn't say, kind of looks maybe like an eight by 10. I don't know, kind of looks like an eight by 10, you guys. But what I got these for is for geography, we are learning about Mexico. And one of the crafts that you can do is hammer out like a, a picture into tin. And so when I saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's great. You use a nail and your kids just hammer the nail through the tin into a picture. So I picked up two of these. I don't know how well it's going to work, but when I saw them, I was like, that will be perfect for art class. Something else I picked up is this clear tape. It comes with six. I always pick this up. It's from Jot. Now I will say that this tape is not the greatest, but it is, tra it is transparent and it is really nice to use with wrapping paper. I just put this in my tape dispenser that we have and I use this because you can't see it. So it looks good. And then the last thing I picked up are these Werther's Original Vanilla Cream Soft Caramels. These are super good. If you've never tried them, make sure you try them. They are delicious. They are only a 2.22 ounce, so there isn't very many in here, but they're really good. If you have a sweet tooth or if you want to put these in someone's stocking, something like that, or have them out for, you know, around Christmas time in a dish, all right, so that's it for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you guys have put together any sort of gift bag, basket, box for your family, your friends, and what you've used to give us ideas. So that's it. Thanks again, you guys. Be safe, be blessed, and I will see you next time. Bye.